Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Hey, today we're out in the field and we're actually uh, measuring some grain samples out here. We're looking at moisture and I guess one of the things that we always do every year is try to figure out how fast is this corn drying down and it helps us determine what fields we need to go to first, what, and on PTI, what plots do we need to harvest first. And uh, it, it's been a real challenge in the past going out and, and getting ear samples to try to um, get enough corn to get through the moisture tester and figure out what we have. And I, I'm happy to say that this whole thing has gotten easier than what we've had in the past. And so you know what they say, work smarter and not harder. And that's exactly what we've done is we've got some technology here at the farm where we're using a SIO moisture tester. And this is a handheld spectrometer. Um, it's a really useful tool for measuring moisture and it can even do protein in soybeans as well. So, but this has got a, a molecular sensor and, and what we're doing is, is we're measuring moisture in corn and it, it, the, the process of this is just super easy. I decided to add this inside PTI video just because so many people have been asking us, hey, what is that SIO thing you guys are using out in the field and how does it work and where do I get one? But this is made by Consumer Physics, and if you go to consumerphysics.com, you can see this SIO, but this has really changed the game for us, being able to get moisture samples out in the field. It's helped us do, if you've, if you've watched some of the past Inside PTI videos, we're actually doing yield estimates based on ear weight and moisture. And this has been very critical to help us get really good moisture readings in the field. All right, so let's go ahead and, and show you how we've done samples in the past. We've got a Dickie John Mini GAC tester and we've got our sample of corn. How did we get the sample of corn? Well, we had to go pull the ears out of the field, bring them up here, and then we had to hand shell these ears to get our sample. So once we got an, enough shelled for our sample size here, we can go ahead and pour it in the mini GAC. And then we press test and it'll do some thinking and when it gets done, it's gonna tell us the moisture. I guess the nice thing about the mini GAC is it will tell us test weight. Not sure how accurate that is, but I mean, that is a, a nice feature of the mini GAC. But it's just hard doing all this, collecting a sample out from the field, bringing it in, and hand showing this thing. It's just, it's, it's just way too much labor, it takes too much time, and you end up with a mess too. I want to show you how easy it is to get a moisture reading with the SIO. So basically, we go into our, our field and we just shuck the ear back. You don't have to take the ear off the plant. You can leave it right on and uh, just going to clean the, some of the silks off it. We've got our app on our phone and we just tell it we've got a new sample and we're going to take our SIO and hold it right up to the ear. Now we need five readings on this ear. One of the things that I, I kind of want to do every time is make sure we're getting the butt of the ear versus the very tip and then in the middle, just with five random around the ear. So once we put our SIO up on the ear, we hit the scan button and the SIO will go to work for us and start measuring moisture. Again, we need five samples. All right, you can go ahead and change locations. Once we get it on the ear, we want to basically get rid of the light to get a good test on this. So once we get it on the ear, we hit scan again. Okay, you can go ahead and move it to a new location. We scan again. So when we get all five scans, we simply hit the analyze button on the app and it will calculate the average moisture here out in the field. So it's that simple. And uh, again, you can leave this ear right on the stalk. You don't have to come in and you don't have to remove this from the field at all. And then we can go off to the next sample then. But super easy moisture readings in the field. I want to take a look at, at some data here where we've actually used the Dickie John Mini GAC, the tester we've been using for years here on the farm. And I want to look at some moisture samples from this Mini GAC compared to the SIO. Okay, so I want to look at consistency of the samples. I basically brought up a sample and we ran it 10 times. Now the sample that I'm using, we took to the grain elevator and we had them test it because that's where our grain's going to the terminal and so that's what we're gonna calibrate everything off of. And so we got our sample back up and it tested 23% uh, corn. And then I brought the samples up here and we ran them 10 times through the SIO and then through the Dickey John Mini GAC, okay? And basically, here's what we found. You know, the, the SIO, when we look at a bar graph here, the SIO ranged 
from 23.0 to 23.7 percent moisture. Over the 10 samples, it varied 0.7 points of moisture. Pretty consistent from top to bottom. We're really happy with it. However, the Dickie John Mini GAC, when we ran the same 10 samples, we had quite a range. We went uh, dry corn down to 19.7% and the wettest sample was 24.6. So there was almost a five point deviation from dry to wet within the same sample. So again, we go from a sile of only having 0.7 uh, points of moisture difference from the 10 samples to almost a five point difference in the in the Dickey John Mini GAC. It just shows the consistency of the SIO. Using this molecular uh, testing, it's very accurate in the field. We get quick um, and accurate samples out here in the field and it just saves a lot of time and it's really effortless out in the field. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is um, I really like the mentality of working smarter not working harder. And that's what this IO does, this moisture tester. It is allowing us to go out and get very accurate moisture readings in the field. And um, it, it's super easy and super quick. And that's one of the things I like. And we do rely on moisture samples quite a bit. Again, we're doing it, doing it for a lot of uh, yield estimates in the field. And I wanna be able to track black layer with a lot of different corn hybrids. I think this year at PTI farm, we've got 22 corn hybrids on this research farm and it, with a range of maturities. And so we've got to know where we're at black layer wise. Um, I want to know what, what percent moisture that is. I want to compare it to heat units that we're calculating on a daily basis throughout the growing season. And then ultimately determine when to get that combine in the field based on those moisture samples. So um, work smarter, not harder. If you got any questions about anything we've talked about today, reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can check us out on the website at precisionplanning.com. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.